There are so many new mods added into the latest update to Destiny 2 with Season of the Lost. Stasis Affinity was introduced and brought in the first Stasis mods for armor, some which simply outclass previous mods that we use to this day. For those who are new to Destiny or returning players who are not familiar with the mod system, it's basically what replaced the old armor perks that were built into the armor back in Year 1 or even Destiny 1. Now, you can just pick and choose and build exactly how you want. Secondly, if you're unsure how to get the newest armor mods, check out my last video real quick and come back to this one. Now, certain mods will not be tested for effectiveness or shown in video as they are pretty straightforward, benefit all the classes, or don't outclass or replace older mods. These are as follows. Power Preservation, Restorative Finisher, and Stasis Resistance. Stasis resistance will be your best friend this season, as we saw in the Fnatic Nightfall, there are several new enemies who deal stasis damage, and slapping at least one of these mods will reduce your damage by quite a bit. In the Grandmaster Nightfall, this means you can take one additional hit, but that mean means the entire world. Restorative Finisher is what I classify as the eh mods. They have a purpose, but expending super energy for just ability energy is not really ideal in majority of cases. I'm not a fan of spending super energy as a currency, because if you do, these are mods that could risk your chances of running into situations where your super would have saved you. Power Preservation is an excellent perk that will serve well in PvE and will benefit PvP in, on, in an annoying but extremely helpful way. More orbs for your teammates, just snowballs more supers, and we know how that song and dance goes. Now, onto the game changer mods. I will be using hunters in these examples and tests, as they are pretty much the easiest class to test, but the percentage I provide will carry to other classes. To begin, utility kickstart is what I felt to be the most noticeable. A hunter dodge at max mobility is 11 seconds, with utility kickstart that gets knocked down to 9 seconds, on average because of rounding. Preparation, pepper. Preparation, pre preparation, no idea how to say that, pre preparation only reduces to 10 seconds. And this is with stacking mods, which means two, as they are the most cost effective to use. A hunter's incendiary grenade at tier 5 is 59 seconds of a cooldown. With one grenade kickstart, this reduces the cooldown to 51 seconds, around an 8% cooldown reduction. With two mods, this goes down to 45 seconds, around 14% to 15% of a reduction due to rounding. Now, onto melee ability. A mid tree's solar hunter melee ability at tier 6 has a minute of a cooldown, 60 seconds. With melee kickstart, your melee recharges now at 52 seconds. With two mods equipped, it goes to 46 seconds. Percentage seems to be the same as a grenade, which is an 8% at one stack, and then 14 to 15 with two stacks. Well, what does all these numbers mean ultimately? Is only a few reduced seconds that important? No matter what player you are, the answer is yes. In PvP, action and decisions are made within a few seconds. With more abilities active, the actions and pushes you make become easier. In PvE, especially at master level content, the concept is the same as your abilities allow you to create openings or clear rooms. 8% is strong enough and very noticeable. More importantly, Pepperturation is now a dead perk, as it's been replaced by Utility Kickstart by providing more of a significant be benefit. The light versions of armor mods in the arm slot do provide cycling of your abilities and a decent enough recharge, but if say you are only focused on grenade and never your melee ability, the grenade kickstart has way way more value to you. Orbs of restoration I would say is not a perk worth using, due to arc affinity legs being more dominant in slot. For example, for hunters as you can build a massive boost to mobility by using powerful friends plus invigoration which is a one cost mod which Powerful Friends is a 4, leaving you plenty of energy for other choices along with providing a generous cooldown to your melee. Same applies to Solar for Nades, and while Void, I wouldn't recommend unless you need the playstyle mods or really want to spam class abilities. A big thing to note is that there is no charge with light mods for Stasis Affinity Armor, and Elemental Wall mods did receive Stasis versions, but as of week 2 of Season of the Lost, they have yet to be released to the public. Warmind Cells do not have stasis mods as well, but I'm pretty sure that either may or may not happen. In the future, we'll talk more about build crafting, but I wanted to get this video out as fast as I could, which of course didn't happen as I want to, but that's okay. I'm always talking about different types of options in building Destiny on my Twitch streams and in Discord, and you can find me spitting out ideas, memes, and clips on TikTok and Twitter. I have video projects in mind, I'm already working on them, so make sure to do that liking and subbing. See ya!